Okay guys, welcome to today's video and today's voiceover. I'm going to be doing a voiceover for this one. Uh, we're in from back. And yep, yeah, started off with a single um, plate lap pull down. As you can see here, I'm really focusing on the stretch part of the movement, the lengthened position. And of course, we're getting the muscles a little bit short as well, but you really want to make sure when you're training the back that you don't want that elbow to drive too far past your body. And also, we don't want to have it out to the side. We want to try and tuck that elbow in close to the body. That's where you're going to have a better connection. Uh, yeah, we increased the weight here. This was the, the top set, just showing you the other side of the movements from the other angle. And my main focus here, guys, is like I'm using my hand as like a lever. I'm not like, it's, it's like a hook, right? Because if I'm grabbing too much with my fists, I'm going to be hitting that bicep too much. So I'm just trying to hook it like a lever and then drag it down sort of thing. And then that's going to engage my back muscle rather than my bicep. If you think about like rowing, that's going to like that, th like that connotation row. I just feel like it's all bicep. Whereas I like to say like the training the back, it's like you're dragging the, the weight down, drag it down. That's going to be, I mean, the bicep's going to take over a little bit anyway, but less so, right? So this is another movement that I've started doing recently. Um, I feel like it's very effective. Um, this machine is pretty good. I just like to add the, the, the alternative grip on it and, um, yeah, use the D handles as it's a little bit more suited for every every single person, as a little bit more flexible. And uh, we're not going too heavy on this, guys. This is the top set here. Um, again, uh, I don't want to go too heavy on certain exercises that I feel like my biceps will take over in. So I'm keeping the the weight relatively light um, and just focusing on that connection and control. Of course, if it's too light, then we increase the weight, but. Yeah, for, for myself, uh, my back is one of my lagging muscle groups. So when you think about if you have a lagging muscle group, guys, why would you train uh, that lagging muscle group with a high amount of, of weight? Would you train your biceps that way or your triceps? No, because it's a small muscle group. There's a small amount of um, muscle fibers there, right? And that's the same for if you've got a lagging muscle group. You, you just need to pick a weight, the right amount of weight that gets a good connection and you focus on the stimulus. And then uh, over time, then you obviously increase the weight over time, given when needed. Um, I really like this machine as well. This is a plate lap pull down. I'm going for alternative grip again here. And again, as you can see, guys, I'm just working that stretch position. I'm not focusing on getting the muscle too uh, short. Um, just working on the stretch and we go into, I believe, like some partial reps on the end here. And the form doesn't have to be perfect, guys. As you can see from this angle, as long as you feel it in the muscle groups where you're trying to feel it. And I do. I don't, I'm not feeling my biceps at all on this movement. So as you can see, there's a bit of body English, I think they like to call that, where my body's moving around a little bit, which is fine. I'm not I'm trying to be too strict. Why? Because I can feel the connection. I can feel it in my lats. And uh, you can probably see that here. It's all in my lats, you know. Um, barbell rows. Uh, one uh, one exercise that a lot of people struggle with. A lot of people say they're not effective. Um, I've gone heavy on these in the past. And uh, recent times I've gone lighter. And I feel like I get a better connection in my back. With the 60 on the, on the bar, you know. Even when I go up to like 80 kg, which is only 20 extra. I start feeling some reps less optimal and in my biceps. So I keep it light here, guys. And we're going extreme high reps, you know, just focusing on that control, not, not engaging my biceps. And I feel it all in my back, which is what we want, right? <laughs> on back day. Um, so then we went in with rack pulls here. Again, I probably, looking back at this footage, I probably could have added an extra plate here. Um, it was, on reflection, a little bit too light. Um, and that's where you got to be honest yourself, guys. And I'm being honest here. Like, this was probably too light. Uh, I feel like I could have done a little bit more. Uh, however, that's something I note down when I when I track my training. And when I come to the next back session, we're going to look to increase this. But um, I really like this movement. It's like two parts, this movement. You're coming up um, just past your knees and then, like, having a slight pause. 
and then you're extending back and getting them shoulders right back at the top. I'm not hyper extending too much at the top, but as you can see, I'm just getting my shoulders back and squeezing the full back at the top position. I stole that one from Derek Lunsford, guys, so don't hate me, but yeah, he was like Mr. Olympia well, last year, not this year. Um, uh, anyway, again, back to this next exercise. So we're keeping it light again, guys, just focusing on connection. Why? Because on this movement, Sometimes I struggle to connect with my back. Um, so I go higher reps, lightweight, and just focus on that connection. I think I went really uh, high reps here. And then the other thing to note, towards the end of the session, as, as you get more fatigued, um, what's the point in adding... Like, I don't usually leave my heavy, heavy sets towards the ends, guys. I'll, I'll, I'll filter them in maybe at the start or the middle of the session, but not really towards the end. I'm trying to keep like relatively easy exercises towards the end of the session like we got here a cable pullover but even when i say easy we're still trying to focus on quality reps guys and, and focus on that connection and i don't like to go again too heavy on this movement i know it sounds like i'm not going heavy at all but i'm adding a decent weight but i'm just focusing on trying to get the connection guys if the connection's good, don't get me wrong, there's certain movements out there that I, I feel really comfortable with and I will really overload the weights because I have to because that muscle is maybe stronger and my form is really good on that exercise. Other stuff, there's a bit of uh, room for flexibility. Post-workout going down, 250 grams of chicken breast, uh, 250 grams of rice. So guys, as the title suggests, um, what things would I do differently if I was starting over again my training journey, career, whatever, right? So the first thing that I would definitely do is I would invest in education more. So whether that be hiring a coach uh, to fast track things, whether that be just researching and finding out more content online from various different people. I didn't really tend to do too much of that at the beginning phases. I mean, I had one or two guys that I was following and learning from, but um, I, I mean, social media back then was not as, as big as it is now today with his access to so much more content, more people uh, posting videos and information. But yeah, I would have spent a bit more time uh, doing that rather than like trial and error. Um, I feel like trial and error is a good element to have in your training journey. Um, however, like you also need to, to learn from others, right? And uh, yeah, listen to others as well. If, if someone's um, in a better position than you, better physique, um, a lot older than you yourself, uh, listen to them because they've been there and done it. They've got mistakes. They've got success, um, so they can they can tell you where to to go wrong, uh, where they went wrong, and, and where you could potentially go right uh, sooner. Um, and then the second thing that I would do differently would have to be the nutrition side of things, guys. I would definitely focus on um, making sure I was eating quality um, raw foods and tracking my protein intake not so much tracking calories but definitely um the protein intake uh, should have been tracked early on which i didn't do for many many years um and i feel like that cost me uh, some results in terms of muscle and recovery and then um also the third thing that i would have done differently is i would have prioritized rest sooner so I, I am a big advocate of like pushing the volume up, pushing the amount of training, uh, how hard you push yourself in the gym, like where do we know where our fa failure point is, um, you need to push it to that failure point and usually the body can handle a lot more volume than you think, so my opinion you should always do more and then when you realise oh I'm not recovering or I'm too sore for like four or five days, then you can pull back the the volume slightly to suit. But if you're always like training reps in reserve or resting more than you probably should be, you're not gonna know where that ceiling is in terms of what your body can handle. Um, so in one sense, I pushed the intensity and the training volume um, to the max always, um, but I probably 
pushed it too much and didn't pull back. So make sure that you, um, you're pushing intensity but also prioritizing rest. There's like a fine balance to that, guys. And every single person is gonna be different, right? So you have to try what works for your body, works for yourself, and then adjust it and apply it to your own training journey. Yeah, I can't think of any others off the top of my head, guys, um, because I feel like everything that we do in life, um, not just training, has led us to this position and this point where we're at today. Um, and there's a lot of blessings in that and there's a lot of lessons in that. Um, so whatever happens, basically happens for a reason. It's there to teach us something. And um, you just need to try and enjoy the process, right? Like learn to enjoy life, learn to enjoy the process. Don't stress about things too much. I do feel like a lot of people nowadays, when it comes to the fitness industry, they they got so much information that they're stressing. Oh, do I need to be doing this? Do I need to be doing that? Rather than just kind of relax and do what they feel their body needs, right? Do what exercises feel that they connect well with, do how much volume that they need, uh, see how much volume that their body needs and so on. So I think there's a little bit of flexibility there that is needed from most people that are working out in the gym. Um, and don't stress too much guys, try to enjoy the process. All right, that being said, this is my weekly video. Um, hope you like this one. Subscribe because I'm posting weekly videos now. Um, Consistency is key guys as they say with nutrition training and also content creation. So that's what I'm planning on doing With that being said, I'll see you in the next one